Getting onto the marathon, I actually, unfortunately, was in a lot of pain from the very beginning. I, I had a bit of a calf strain at one week out from the race. I really had to be mentally strong at that point and just know that no amount of pain that I was enduring was going to be worse than not winning this race. So obviously I was in a lot of pain during the marathon in Kona. I feel like mentally I was able to take myself to a completely new place that I've never been before when I raced where it didn't actually matter how much physical pain I was in, I was never gonna give up. When you've been someone that has been wanting something for so, so long, since I first stepped foot on the island in 2015 as an age grouper, I dreamt of one day racing the Ironman World Championships as a professional and maybe one day winning it as a professional. And then to come second on my debut pro race in 2017, and then come second another three more times after that, I just felt like it didn't matter how much physical pain I was in in that race, it would just hurt so much more to not win it this time around. In some ways I, I wasn't blocking out the pain entirely, I was feeling it and I felt it every single stride of that run, but it didn't matter how bad it got, I was never going to stop running and never going to give up on that dream that I've worked towards for so long. Okay, I'm just on my way to the Fortius Clinic here in Bank to find out what the hell I actually did to my leg in the race in Kona. We've had a couple of scans and MRIs, but I'm gonna go through all of those with John and find out the extent of the damage. Going down. Back again. Floor minus one. Yeah, so the injury I sustained was a tear in my gastrocnemius and soleus and also in the aponosis which is the tissue between the two muscles. We think the week leading into the race in Kona I may have started that process of maybe getting a really small tear and then on mile one of the marathon in Kona I started to feel the pain in my calf which obviously then made the injury much much worse because I ran a marathon on it. If I'd actually stopped at that point it probably wouldn't have been a, a particularly bad injury it would have been one that took maybe six weeks to Hill. The specialist that I've been speaking to basically said that it unzips. So the more that I ran, that tear just would have continued to unzip and get worse throughout the course of that marathon. During the run, like for you? Um, it was really bad. Yeah. Like after one mile, I felt the calf just, I, I was like, maybe it's cramp. Like just keep telling myself it is, but I, it was way worse than that. Um, and then my, like everyone said when they were watching, they were like, oh, you look really good running. Mm. And my husband was watching and he was like, but I, you did look really good running, but it's not how you run. You were like being really cautious. Your technique looked really good, yeah. but you wasn't flowing and running how you can. You were just like, he could tell. I was like, F like is this going to completely go? Yeah. I felt like really lucky that it didn't. Somehow it managed to stay intact enough yeah, to function. Yeah. So it's more just a sensation here. Okay. But when I went to see John, which I think was about two weeks ago, so, I couldn't yeah. do that. Like I held onto his hands yeah. and it actually, I was like, mm, that's actually a bit painful. So okay. that's already pretty good progress Go from down. seeing him. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> just feels like a bit like it's just pulling a bit. Yeah. Just yeah, like from here downward, but it's not pain. It's just like a. I guess it. It feels like it's quite tight. Yeah. That's, that's what it feels. Like. Stuff yes, and yeah. Stuff and, uh, yeah, the more of this I can do before running. The yeah, thing, it's almost embrace it, you're going to get it strong and, and yeah. ready to go again. So, yeah, cool. So just on my first ride back with two legs clipped into the pedals at the Altitude Centre in London and yeah, really happy doing it between meetings today. 
but I'm buzzing just to be backpedaling with two legs. So onwards and outwards. We went to fly home from Hawaii and some people may have seen on social media the image of my leg that looked extremely bruised and we didn't know at that point what I had done. We actually had an emergency room doctor that Reese coaches and he was quite concerned that it looked like DVT in my leg and he didn't want me to get on the plane home, he wanted me to go and get it checked. Fortunately, or unfortunately, however you look at it, our flight was actually cancelled that evening to leave Hawaii. So the following day I went to the Kona hospital and had an ultrasound scan. They ruled out DVT, you're safe to fly home, but you've definitely done some damage in there. We can't see exactly what you've done because there's a lot of inflammation, but when you get home, you should probably go and get it looked at. By the time I got home, the swelling had reduced quite a lot, which I was really happy about. I did half expect to get home and just have like an elephant leg. And then the following day, I went and had another ultrasound and then we did an MRI scan the following day which confirmed that I had a tear in my gastrocnemius, in my soleus and also in the connective tissue. I think about two days later I also went to the London College of Osteopathy where they was doing a full course on ultrasound scans and basically I became the guinea pig where they were showing my leg to various different students there and most of them actually couldn't believe I'd run the marathon with the tear that I had done. They said I also was really lucky because although I'd done quite a significant tear, the muscles could still function and work together. My fear in the race was that would it get so bad that the muscle actually couldn't function anymore. But fortunately, although I'd done quite a big tear, everything was intact to still work, which meant that my prognosis for recovery was much better. And they straight away said, although it will be quite an extensive recovery, you should make a full recovery you're going to need to do quite a lot of rehab work which again is something I quite enjoy doing I enjoy spending a lot of time in the gym so as long as I do all of that correctly it's not going to be something that hopefully holds me back it should be something I can fully recover from and get back to racing again in the new year So obviously I'm very fortunate, I have a fantastic team around me, I have my physio Michael who straight after the race got to work, he was doing gentle gentle massage to get the fluid out, we were doing ice baths and I think that again sped up my recovery time by quite a lot. I also have been seeing Michael regularly since I got home. We basically want to get the scar tissue moving and remodelled as quickly as possible so it doesn't stiffen up and become something that can't function that well. Good. Are you going to destroy that pool tomorrow? Yes, <coughs> and everyone in it. Exactly. <laughs> I also have been working with a Red Bull physio. He's been coming and working on the strength and conditioning side with me, making sure that we get that area as strong as possible, loading it when it's lengthened to make sure that building back into running, I've already done so much load for it that the tendon and muscle is really, really strong. It means that it limits the chance of any re-injury occurring. I started at speed 10 and then gradually built up to 11 each one, but 11 felt fine, but I'll probably just do that again. I feel like my upper body feels a bit stiffer. Yep. I don't know if that's because I'm hesitant. Like there's quite a lot of tension in my shoulders, but I know I get like that anyway when I go. And I can be quite stiff through my thoracic. Lower body-wise, it doesn't feel too different. Already it's over. It's in front, yeah. Over reaching and comes yeah. down around there. So it's, again, it's, it's, it's not huge, but it's yeah, there's it's a slight slightly in front, yeah. there, yeah, which 
will start to put pressure through the okay, knee, yeah. but also the calf because you're then having to spend a bit longer to land and then propel yeah. back off. So just thinking of a shorter step okay, on yeah. the left side. Yeah. See how bent the knee is? Yeah. It's not very bent. Uh, right, yes, yes, yeah, it's almost there. that. Yeah. It's almost straight. Yes, yeah. And then you look at the right. Yeah, you can see it's more of a bend like in there. 30 degrees, yeah. 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 So you're allowing that cushion to come yeah. through that, that side a little bit. Cool. Well, yeah, it's good to see it and know like you said this is the perfect time to think about it and i think it'd be interesting to see it as the speed does go up do yeah. i keep doing that does yeah. it get better does it get worse yeah you went for everyone left <laughs> <laughs> good old leg <laughs> Train uh, no, no, and I, I probably should have done so. Yeah. It improves efficiency as well and it also adds speed. Uh, yeah. We've only seen it over 5k and 10k trials, but okay, yeah. I'm sure it translates to yes. efficiency as well, you would think. So we started the new year with amazing news. I went and had my MRI scan on the 2nd of January. I'm making a really, really good recovery. We're at the stage now where I'm able to reintroduce running. So we're gonna do that really gradually. We're not gonna rush it. I don't think there's any point in me rushing coming back to racing from this. So you may not see me racing at the first race of the season, but I hope to be at the second race. It's all gonna depend how my training goes. I'm actually heading out to Lanzarote to start my early season season training but it just feels amazing to actually start the new year being able to be a full triathlete again with swim bike and run in my program thank you so much for watching this video hopefully very soon i'll be able to announce my full race schedule for the year i'm really excited for what 2024 has in store for me there's some amazing opportunities in triathlon at the moment and yeah i can't wait to grab those as much as possible stay tuned as we'll have many more videos coming soon and like and subscribe This is the best of me. Time by quite a lot.